What up vlogging peeps? We are back in action. I almost forgot which way to film. It's been so long. Well, since the last time I saw you, went on some fabulous travel adventures. Mike and I are pregnant, you know, but I'm carrying the child and we're so excited. So obviously my running, training, jogging, walking, biking has all changed and uh, no adventure sports this winter, unfortunately, but there's a lot I still can do. So I wanted to share my training update with you and kind of let you know uh, what I'm not doing anymore, or at least for the meantime and let you know what I'm really into right now. Okay, so some quick updates. Uh, found out we were pregnant in the fall and first trimester was pretty brutal. Um, tired all the time. There were a couple weeks there where I had big fat zero for mileage. Um, and then I really had to slow things down a bit and adjust to my new body and my new mindset. Once the second trimester came around, I started to get more energy, started to not feel as nauseous. Pretty, was sick all day first trimester second trimester feeling better getting more energy uh, after Thanksgiving it was a great time for me to start feeling good body was working again I kind of lost control of my whole body the first trimester and got a little bit of it back second trimester so super fun uh, lately my training has been went from okay let's just get some mileage or runs or biking in three to four times a week and then now it's switched a little bit more to four to five times a week. I'm lucky to have a gym in my building so I can get down there and get the tread get on the treadmill or the stationary bike. If it's icy or if it's cold or if it's dark out, which in these winter months it usually is. Instead of any kind of like mile goal, it's a time goal, which that's the way I've always trained. So that's no different. Anywhere from 30 to 30 minutes to an hour, um, I'm trying to get runs in. And when a run doesn't feel good, I will hop on the stationary bike and get going on that. Luckily, running's been feeling great lately. So I'm pretty lucky. Um, today I'm doing gonna do a 45 minute run, just super easy. My doctor tells me I cannot get my heart rate over 140, which whew, at first I was like, oh my god, oh, what's going on here? But um, I've gotten used to it, I've adjusted, uh, and it's totally fine. The Garmin has come in amazing for uh, keeping an eye on my heart rate. I'll link that down below for you if you're interested. Definitely invest in a, in a nice watch for yourself um, if you're gonna get into some serious training this 2019. All right, here we go. It's a beautiful day in Chicago. The sun's out. It's winter. Woohoo! All right, 45 minutes. Here we go. Keeping it easy, easy, easy. Not too bad. A little city running. All right, so we hit our halfway point and we're on our way back. I just wanted to share something that I think was one of the hardest adjustments was my doctor saying, you know, stay at 140 or below. Uh, you know, as runners, we love our workouts. We love sweating so hard and think, oh, that was so hard. And I really can't do that anymore. I really got to keep it nice and easy. I follow everything my doctor says. So I, you know, obviously the baby's health is the most important thing. There's still so much that I can do. You know, it's really not, it's just a little adjustment. It really doesn't bother me anymore and I've gotten used to it. And I know now what, you know, staying at 140 feels like. I can sense when it, it's getting a little higher or, uh, you know, if something's a little too easy, this is pretty easy though. <laughs> but just like anything else, we adjust and we do what we can. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling really lucky. Today's just a beautiful day out here. I'm loving it. All right, we'll 
keep it going here. All right, just finishing up the last of this little jog today. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me about uh, races this year, and by a lot, I mean like a whole two people. But uh, no, no races really on the dock uh, for obvious reasons. But I wouldn't put it past me to sign up for just some fun stuff to get out there and be with the crowd. In the first trimester, I did a 5K the first month I was pregnant. Didn't know I was pregnant. Ran, I think it was my fastest 5K. Pretty pumped on that. And then uh, did the turkey trot. Knew I was pregnant. Had to keep it in that 140 range. Nothing impressive there, but it was still super fun. Which makes me ask you, what are your racing goals for this year? What are you trying to put together? And how can I help you? All right, 48 minute run done. I'm feeling good. I wanted to start up, start back up the blog, the vlog, for a few different reasons. One, I love the ultra running community. I love connecting with people, how we help each other out, and um, listening to what races you have come up and what you're doing in your training, what gear you use, what kind of nutrition you like. So it's a great place to connect. Number two, I really haven't seen a lot out there for pregnant runners and now that I am a pregnant runner, I thought it'd be fun to share the journey. Um, there's a lot of ups and downs, a lot of emotion, uh, a lot of adjustments and a lot of great positive things. So I thought that would be a great thing uh, to document and share with others as well. And then third, I have some experience. I have done every distance of triathlon, all the way up to the Ironman distance with absolutely no swimming experience and little to no biking. And I've ran every running distance up to the 100 mile in, uh, you know, mountainous regions, climbed mountains, traveled a ton, uh, done a tons of different adventures. So how can I help you achieve your goals in 2019? What are you wanting to do? What can I suggest? Um, is it nutrition? Is it gear? Is it putting a training plan together? Let me know. I would love to help you out. Okay, so now I'm back inside. Usually after my run, I'll roll out the mat and do some stretching, some light yoga. I will do strength training uh, with light weights and then mostly just body weights like lunges and squats two two times a week about and I will share a vlog on that coming up along with some nutrition vlogs because I think that's what people love the most any questions for me please leave them down in the comments below I would love to know what you're up to this 2019 what's on your race schedule again if there's any way I can help please let me know and uh, if you need training plans, if you need nutrition, gear, suggestions, whatever it might be, um, I would love to share my ideas, thoughts with you. If you're just starting out or getting back into it, keep it super easy. Give yourself a time frame. So, okay, today I'm gonna go out for 40 to 50 minutes. If you're not really feeling it, it's gonna be closer to 40. If you're feeling good at 41 minutes, then you can hit your 50 minutes. Be kind to yourself. My words for this year, or at least this month, are creating a calm, positive, kind environment for myself and for others. So, hope you're doing the same. Let me know any updates down below. It was good seeing y'all, and see you again soon. Peace. For reals, for reals, this is the last thing. If you want to follow along with my day-to-day, -day, uh, see what's going on in my running, training, work, life, whatever, come follow me at Ashley M. Nolan on Instagram. See you there and see you here again soon.